Hello folks, today I'm going to be taking a look at another set from Goblin King Games for their Moonstone Fantasy Skirmish game. This time round it is the Administration of Justice. So it's a three figure set from Moonstone. You can see there it contains Tabby, Sir Gillimot, Poppycock and Old Calders. Not necessarily in that order. The uh, box contains the cards and a bag of resin. Cards we shall have a look at when the figures are assembled. And we have bases. A 40 and two 30 mil bases. So, one bag contains Old Calder and Sir Gillymuck Poppycock. Really, really crisp cast. That is fiendishly well done, which I'm no longer surprised by. A lot of peacock feathers. Really nicely sculpted. Painting that should be relatively simple. And that massively wicked Warhammer or pick. It's very close to Beck de Corbin, Beak of the Crow, which is a very pointed Warhammer. And to be fair, he's already got two other bird like names there and a bird like beaked helm, so. It may well be. Calder's then, a bit more restrained. Really nice quilting on the gamby. Small amount of flashing there. Again, really nice cast. Sword and gear in one hand, pointing with the other. A little bit of flashing under his ear. But otherwise, should be relatively quick to clean up. And our last technically single figure, although in reality Tabby has got a helper. She's sitting on a set of library steps being pushed along and uh, poking people. Again, Really, really nice cast. Uh, that way up, I believe, is it? No, I was right the first time, that way up. So library steps, somebody under the back of a robe, pushing, he doesn't look too happy. Tabby looks like she's having a barrel of laughs, mind you. Jousting. So yeah. Let's get these built and take a look at them in more detail along with their cards. All right, I am back and they are all assembled. I'm going to start off with Sir Gillimot Poppycock. Um, so as you can see, the model is every bit as lovely as we would expect. Some great detail on there, like the Commonwealth sun on the uh, thigh armor, I suppose. And then that sort of bird pattern repeats on things like the knees, as well as, I'm fairly certain that is meant to be a, a Beck de Corbin. Uh, and then all those gorgeous peacock feathers all the way down. So, terrific model. How is he in game? Well, he is a melee of four, uh, with a range of two, so fantastic. As long as he's doing impact damage, he's right up there with a plus two to it. Um, non magical damage reduced by two because of his plate armor, which is great. However, magical damage, he's got a terrible evade. So that's not great. Uh, and because he is so heavily bird ridden, um, ornithophobia, whenever a goblin character ends a move engaged by this model for the first time, he must discard one energy if able. So uh, goblins don't like him. It's like a fear of chickens coming at you. 
and friendly soldiers gain six you know, within six gain plus one melee stat because he's the governor. Again, fantastic support character as well as being able to dish it out himself. Uh, his special ability, yell out commands for a mere one. Move a friendly non-noble one inch. If it's a soldier, move it two instead. You may only target each character once per turn. So comboing with somebody like Eric the Squire is very good. His signature move this is the Knee Smasher for a sweeping cut upgrade. Deals a hefty two damage, which will obviously be increased by two. Happy days. And at the end step, if the enemy suffers one or more wounds, it cannot take a jog action until the end of the turn. Because he's been kneecapped. Smashing. Literally. Next up, we have Old Calders. So, again, very simple. One arm on. This arm with his helmet and pack fitted into a couple of indents there. Um, so he just went together sweet as a nut. Spanking detail on this model. Lovely, lovely detail on the face. But also uh, all his little accoutrement. He's got a string of garlic. He's got his fork. He's got a book, which is probably a cookbook. Uh, stuffed into that bag. He's a whole host of other bits and pieces that he has liberated for the cause and for his stomach, uh, hanging from a, a little bundle on the end of his scabbarded sword. You know, he's a working soldier, a jobbing mercenary. He knows where he's at, and a wineskin full of wine. Cracking. And again, as far as soldiers go, two inch range, so good reach on him. Melee of three, although that will be increased if Poppycock's close enough. Um, he does have a bit of the old arcane about him, which is handy. Increases slicing damage by one, um, or piercing actually. Quilted armor, so damage reduction. So him, fancy pants, and Gilly Mott. Spanking. Just it'll make your opponent cry. Sage advice. Friendly models within four inches can ignore catastrophe effects. Are you reading that? And seen it all before. He's been around the block a few times. The attacker, defender, and round of combat. Before the player selects their combat card, the opponent has to reveal their hand to you. Oh my god. That's filth. That is absolute filth. I love it. Uh, look out. Target friendly is evade stat is reduced by minus one till the end of turn. So good to combat Poppycock's terrible evade. And he also has a field medic, so a support character that can restore wounds. Signature move on a high guard is a tactical retreat. He's running away, but only so he can fight again. He'll deal no damage, um, but reduces damage suffered by one and moves two inches in the end step. So, so if that reduces the damage by minus one and then his armor will knock one off that as well, he could get away with not having any damage and skirting out of the actual fight. So he's a, a little corker. I like him. Lastly, we have Tabby. I've not glued Tabby completely together. I've glued one of these arms on. What I will say is lining those arms up and gluing them was a bit fiddly. Um, there is a little notch at the back that fits into the little notch on the step there. But the reason I haven't glued it in isn't that I wanted to complain about the gluing, but it's because I want to be able to paint the books that are on that shelf um, before I cover up most of the area. And it also means I can get in and paint him as well. But Tabby herself, such delicate casting on it. Slight seam line running through this book here. You might be able to see it just there. Um, the big pokey comes in quite nicely. It actually sits in an indent in her hair. So you've got two glue points, the wrist and then the hair as well. Um, so you don't have to worry about a very thin contact. And then the uh, book sits in her lap opened and that incredible look on her face as she's pushed pokey stick a go straight towards the enemy. So, what is she like in game? Well, she's a human cleric. 
exceptional reach and decent melee with her poking stick. However, it will be reduced to nothing at all if it's slicing. Big Arcane, uh, unfortunately, large evade as well. However, Energy Siphon. Once per turn, target a friendly model and flip a card. Redistribute up to X energy from that model in any combination to any models within 8, where X is the value on the card. Catastrophe, the target loses 2 energy and this character suffers 2 wounds, unless... Ba -ba -ba -ba, Calder's close by to stop that happening. Caustic Contract, uh, model suffers X minus 1 wounds and gains protection. Librarian Scorn, move X directly away, then suffer that amount of wounds. So, all about moving people around and redistributing uh, energy. Very good support character. For her thrust, her pokey stick can be upgraded to shh, which still deals damage. Happy days. Um, and in the end step, if the, suff the enemy suffered one or more wounds, then it must discard one energy if able. So there's a lot of um, control with this set, which is uh, fascinating. And I love the synergies you can build within Moonstone anyway. This just adds another layer of synergies into the game. So there we have it. An interesting soldier-based support group. Very good for the Commonwealth. If you're running people like um, Eric the Squire, assuming he hasn't left for the La Chevult yet, then uh, obviously these have really great synergy with them. And also the models are fantastic. I think we can all agree that Goblin King Games uh, skirmish models are some of the best fantasy miniatures you can lay your hands on. I particularly like the librarian with her poking stick. It's all about the pokey poke. Uh, but there we have it. Let me know what you think below of the administration of justice. And if you're getting involved in Moonstone, then let me know that as well, because I'll need projects and battle reports from all of you. Until next time, folks, bye-bye. Go ahead and check out our other content on screen now. And while you're at it, why not hit subscribe and remember to ding our dong. Go on, you know you want to click it. Go on.